Well hello everybody, welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Now I recently made some lemon and blueberry freons which turned out very well and were well received so I thought today I'll try to make a variation of them. Now freons I think probably originated in France but these days they're extremely popular in Australia and New Zealand, not so well known elsewhere. Basically you make them you can do them in a muffin tin, but this is a Freon tin, um, which has an oval shape, but a muffin tin would be fine. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to mix 225 grams of icing sugar with 40 grams of cocoa powder and 20 grams of flour. I'm just going to sift the cocoa and the flour into the icing sugar which I've already sifted and have to break down the lumps. Cocoa powder particularly has a tendency to clump into lumps but sifting it gets rid of that. And then into the mixture, I'm simply going to add 150 grams of ground almonds, which are slightly coarser than usual ground almonds because I ground them myself. I had some flaked almonds left. And I thought rather than go out and buy more ground almonds, I'd use the flaked almonds. So I'm just going to mix that together to combine it. What I also have here is the white of six eggs. There's a tiny bit of yolk in there um, because one of the yolks broke. Now, if you were making meringue, you most definitely would not want any yolk in it at all, but because of what we're doing, I don't think it matters, so I've left it in there. I also have 200 grams of raspberries. Now these are frozen raspberries. You can use fresh or you can use frozen, whichever. And I have uh, 185 grams of butter, which is melted. So the next thing to do, having mixed our dry ingredients, is just to whisk our eggs until they're frothy. You don't want them you don't want them to be at stiff pink stage. So they're nice and frothy. That's good enough. So what we do is we make a well in the centre and pour the eggs in and then we're going to simply mix that until it's all combined. Now freons, as you can probably gather from these ingredients, are closely related to financiers, those lovely French uh, confections, nice and moist and full of almonds. So keep mixing until we have all the dry ingredients combined. So having got the ingredients mixed and I can see lots of flecks of almonds um, which I quite like. So now we're going to pour in our melted butter as I said that's 185 grams. We're just going to mix until that is combined and we'll have a nice runny liquid. 
Now I've greased the Freond pan or a muffin pan as I said and I'm preheating the oven to 200 Celsius which is 180 Celsius with a fan and it's uh, 400 Fahrenheit so that's preheating ready and you just keep mixing until you've got the butter all combined it takes a little time but it works and then what we're going to do is fill our Freon pan with the mixture. I'm going to start by putting some of the mixture in each cup but not enough to fill it because what I want to do for this one is just to pop a couple of raspberries inside okay so then what I've done is I've put some of the mixture into the bottom of each cup and I'm now going to just take some raspberries maybe a couple and pop them into the mixture and then I'm going to put the rest of the mixture in Okay, so that's reasonably well spread out and so now I'm just going to pop raspberries on the top Right, so that's two raspberries on the top of each and then I'm going to put them in the oven and bake them for 20 to 22 minutes until they seem springy and a skewer comes out uh, clean. Now that should work perfectly um, and the, the batter should come up, rise up and incorporate uh, itself around the raspberries to some extent so I'll be back with you after I've, I've baked them and allowed them to cool for a while okay so I'm back with you I just made a mistake thinking I was recording and I ate one of the Freons so now I've got to eat another one life has its little bonuses doesn't it so um, I baked them for 21 minutes and they've come out quite well as you can see and these are speckled um, with the almonds because I ground my own so it's not as fine as you would grind you would buy if you bought ground almonds so I'm going to bite into it it looks very good and it's quite moist where the raspberries are but you would expect that but definitely cooked you get that lovely hit of raspberry juice and uh, raspberry and the juice then the, the sweetness of the sugar that lovely co uh, co 
that lovely coffee, that lovely chocolate flavour from the cocoa powder. So if you've enjoyed this video, please click on the thumbs up below the video to say that you've liked it. And also click to subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified of future videos as they go online. Um, so that's it for today. I'll be back with you soon with another recipe. And until then, happy baking.